hello guys good morning or good evening so in this tutorial we will be seeing what are the different uh, statements that we have in a in JCL or in order to write a JCL so in the last video I was explaining about a job statement right so before I mean before I go into further details about the JCL let us understand what are the different statements we will be having in a JCL so the first statement will be a job statement then we will have an exit statement then we have a DD statements and uh, and further we have a proc statements so what is a job so job is nothing but as I said it gives uh, the description about the job with uh, accounting information the programmer name class priority and everything so right so all these three different statements I'm going to delete this proc for now so let us consider like so we have only three different statements that is job exec and dd if you are good with these three statements then you're done with the JCL so we have to understand what does three these three different statements has and how do we write these statements right so JCL the first statement as I said it's a job it will have a job name uh, job operand uh, followed by a keyword parameter positional positional and the key word parameters parameters right so then exit statement will also will have a name or I can say it as a step name okay followed by the exit operand operand then we have positional 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 and keyword parameters okay then here what does an exit statements represent and why we are calling it as a step name uh, this is like uh, you will be writing a uh, different programs using uh, either COBOL as a language or a PL bar one as a language or it can be a Rex so these are the different programming languages that we use in a mainframe so in order to execute those programs those programs can be written in a statement inside the JCL called as an exec so that's the reason we will be calling it as a step name followed by exec opera and then positional caram does and the keyword parameters then it e then we have a last statement that is called as a DD name then followed by the DD opera and then we have again the positional and the keyword parameters right so this will determine what kind of data set or what kind of files you are going to use for this particular program I within this JCL or within this job name so here you can understand so these are the three different statements that are really important in order to create or in order to write a JCL right thank you so much for watching this video next video will be about explaining about an exit and dd statement in detail thank you so